today we are here with yet another problem of under linked lists and it is a hacker rank problem named as compare two linked lists so as the name suggests we have to compare two linked lists let's read out the problem description uh, the description says you are given the pointer of the head nodes of two linked lists so we will be provided uh, the head nodes of two linked lists and we have to compare the data in the nodes of the linked lists to check if they are equal and if all the data attributes are equal and the lists are of same length then return 1 otherwise return 0 uh, let's see the example which they have provided so if the linked list 1 is 1 2 3 and then null and linked list 2 is 1 2 3 4 and null right so these two are not equal so our program should return zero let's see the function description which they have provided so we have to complete this function which is compare lists and it will be uh, it will be taking two uh, parameters which are which are the head node of both the linked lists head one and head two we can say and we have to return one if uh, linked lists are equal and zero otherwise we will choose java 8 as our programming language but you can choose uh, any language of your uh, preference but uh, let's see the logic behind it how we can approach this problem but before that So let's try to think it in a way of arrays like how we will compare two arrays if they are equal right but in arrays we can we can easily find the length of an array and we can overcome that condition at the initial only but here to get the length of uh, the, like list one we have to traverse all the way till null and similarly for list 2 we have to traverse all the way till the last node the null node right but so what we can do is we can iterate both the list in the same time right and try to see if the head 1 dot next and head 2 dot next or we can say sorry here here it is head 1 right head 1 dot data and head 2 dot data are they similar then proceed else from there only we will return as false or right uh, but here there are some edge test cases which we have to handle so what are those edge test cases one of the edge test case can be list 1 is null and list 2 is also null so what we have to return in that case we have to return false only why because there is no data and hence they are not equal let's quickly code it so when we are saying we have to iterate till head one not equals to null or head two also not equals to null okay and here we have to handle our edge test case which is head one double equals to null or head two double equals to null then in that case we are returning a false okay now one more condition we have to cover in which we have to return a false which is if head one dot data not equals to head two dot data right in that case we have to return true sorry false okay and so in both the condition we have to return false but we have to move forward our head one and head two if both these conditions haven't met so we'll do 
head1 equal to head1.next and head2 equals to head2.next okay and at last we will be returning a true why because these both condition haven't met in any iteration so we have to return a true let's try to run this code okay so both the sample test case got passed let's try to submit this code and see if it pass all the test cases cool so yes this was an easy problem although altogether but you have to take care of some of the conditions which is the first one is this one and the other one i can say this one as the edge test case and yeah it's, it was a pretty simple problem but i hope you got an understanding of linked list more so in the same playlist we will be covering more problems on the linked list so so that you will become more comfortable and you will you can handle all those linked list problems so yeah, thanks thanks guys